<laughs> Hello, welcome to day three of our North Carolina trip. We are at the Cedar Rock climbing area, climbing today on a tour with the European Adventures. And we have already climbed up this rock a few times and we're going to do a few more climbs today. Let's click back up and see how we got here. We arrived at Pura Vida Adventures in the Pisgah Forest and met our wonderful guides, Daniel and Ricky. We started on a 40 minute drive through the forest to get to the trail to Cedar Rock. This trail was not just a walk in the park. While it was challenging, it was a beautiful hike. For more videos of hiking in the Pisgah Forest, check out our vlogs from day two in our North Carolina series. Along the way, our guides educated us about the wildlife and vegetation in the forest. Oh, and did I also mention they were snake wranglers? Well, no, not really. But when we arrived at the climbing area, we found a small copperhead who had already claimed the area. Our guides safely relocated the snake so we could climb. Daniel then hiked up a trail to set up the top rope for our first route. Skylar volunteered to go first. It was an adjustment to transition from indoor climbing to outdoor slab climbing. We plan to do a separate video to talk about the differences between indoor and outdoor climbing and how outdoor climbing was beneficial for us. When it was my turn, I wore the camera on my helmet. Unfortunately, I moved my head too much and most of the footage was unusable. I hit the camera on the rock face several times. We were able to use a few tidbits here and there. There you go. Yeah. Take a breather, look around. We plan to continue sharing our climbing experiences on our channel. So if you're interested in climbing, subscribe and turn the notifications on. All right, I made it. I at least got some footage of the view from the top of the route. As I was coming back down, I realized how much higher the routes are at Cedar Rock compared to our gym. I felt pretty proud that we were both able to climb to the top even though we're still kind of new to climbing. We were able to take a quick break while Daniel set the rope for our next route. It was my turn to go first on this route. So remember to keep that weight right underneath your knee. Yeah, there you go. Nice. It's a nice area. Yeah, take a break. This route was a bit more challenging, but we had finally adjusted to this type of climbing and did a better job of smearing and keeping our weight distributed more effectively.
To close out the day, our guides took us to one more route at Cedar Rock. This route was more similar to the type of climbing we had been used to at our climbing gym. It was also a shorter route, which required Daniel to climb to the anchor to set the rope. We had such a fun day with Daniel and Ricky from Pura Vida Adventures. We had booked a full day tour and the time flew by. We would recommend booking with Pura Vida if you're visiting Pisgah. And if climbing isn't your thing, they also offer adventures like canyoneering, hiking, paddling, or mountain biking. Remember when I said Daniel had to climb up to set the rope? That also meant he had to climb up to take it down. Once we were all packed up, we started the hike back to the truck. All day, our guides were talking up a barbecue food truck that was typically at the entrance to the forest. As we hiked back, we were craving some barbecue. Unfortunately, the food truck closed early because it was Sunday. Instead, we stopped by the local brewery for a beer and had a bite to eat before heading back to our hotel. We just couldn't shake our craving for barbecue and ended up checking out the Flat Rock Wood Room on the way to our hotel. If you ever make it there, be sure to try all of their delicious sauces. We really enjoy their food. Hello, we are back here at the Asheville Airport where we started our trip this weekend. We had a wonderful day yesterday hiking to Cedar Rock and climbing outdoors for the first time with Pyramid Adventures. We are exhausted after a day of brewery, a day of hiking, a day of climbing. Right? It took us several days to recover from our brewery tour in Asheville and our two days in the Pisgah National Forest, but it was all worth it. If you enjoyed our adventure in North Carolina, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on. Thanks for watching.